Hi friends. Today we are going to see the example of recycler view with data binding in Kotlin with the help of MVVM architecture. I will show you step by step process. What is the advantages uh, using the data binding over the traditional way of uh, coding? I will show everything. Just watch. Okay, let it run. So uh, I don't know uh, all of you aware of this Android X, right? Uh, everybody have to migrate their project into Android X after Android version 8 and all. So in some of the scenarios, some of the developers, either they are freshers or uh, senior developers, I mean not that much seniors and all, they don't know about may don't have an awareness or may don't get a chance to work with a Kotlin with updated Android technology like Android Jetpack components. I will show you this. Okay. Here we are Android Jetpack. So what is the just pack what it does it do so actually guys um android has introduced some other year and it introduces some new technologies in android for the development of the new uh, new hardware and uh, whenever new hardware will develop automatically that related a software also updated so we know every day by day new technology coming over and new way of presentation has to be done from the developer sites also uh, for this and everything code optimization is very important place an important role here so for that reason android optimized some of the old methods to the with a new updated libraries called android jetpack components so here here they divided up four sections sorry i will uh, give you a brief description only uh, after that we started working with this uh, our example this is our my first video on Kotlin with a recycler view with the data binding with an MVVM architecture with the live data and life cycle so I just want to explain what all those things okay so they divided into four sections foundation architecture behavior and ui so guys we don't commonly go with this foundation one generally we use android ktx nothing but android kotlin app compact we know everything uh, what about the app contacts and all we know about the multidex also and we know about this security test and uh, we don't know about actually uh, don't know about this tv and where so we don't discuss about those things first of all and after that we are working with this now architecture one uh, as i said uh, i am going to explain how to do this recycler view example in a database sorry data binding so we are going to use this data binding in our example and after that life cycle and live data so navigation we are not using here paging not using room database not using and view model we are going to use view model in this example so guys let's start our example quickly here we are so First of all, we need to import. Second step is we need to go with this how to integrate this data binding into our project. So, 
so first of all to uh, make our project is first of all we need to copy this life cycle and view model dependencies next let's go to database sorry data binding so in a gradle file we need to place these two lines of code for enabling the data binding okay that's it guys let's sync it okay our project is ready to go with the database sorry why i'm getting database database sorry ready to go with data binding with the live data and view model okay let's remove this text view recycler view width will be match parent height will be match parent you need to take id whatever you want so i have taken recycler underscore view okay guys uh, i will explain you what is the exactly difference between a traditional way of uh, calling the views into activity and the different uh, with the data binding what is the difference between traditional way and uh, by using the database sorry data binding <laughs> okay first of all in a traditional way what we do okay this is the way we normally call the views into activity so here guys uh, no need to call this find view by id for any kind of view component in this architecture in this mainly what project we have developed in a data binding that is the major advantage with the data binding no need to call their ids by using find view by id even though adapter also we can directly set and fetch the data from the xml i will show you how it is going to happen in this example next guys so uh, just remove these lines okay let's start with the data binding first of all to uh, work with the database we need to call layout attribute layout tag and uh, make it a parent layout after that just place whatever view have developed so far cut everything paste insert of the layout tag and after that we need to call data data view and after that this variable thing first of all um, we are directly connecting to the java classes with the help of 
data binding so we have to create a local name of the class so I'm going to create directly it is a view model so why I am here giving a view model in the sense I am going to call the view model class in this layout and I want to set the data to this uh, XML layout directly without calling a, its references and everything we want direct communication only so for this purpose I am going to create one class extends with a view model with the constructor that's it done let's call the class here okay see total package name along with the class name has came so it takes the references so if whenever we call this view model in this entire layout automatically it refers the main view model which we have created extension of view model class okay okay done so we have um, wrapped with the data binding XML so then we have to create our local data binding in main activity so how it's going to happen First of all, we call the view model. And uh, I'm going to clean the project because whenever we wrap this uh, our XML with this data binding automatically this data bind compound makes our one class so that class will be extension of our layout so I will show you how it's like see here activity main binding so this data binding activity main data binding class is automatically created by data binding component so what it gives it it provides the total views reference inside of the activity without calling this find view by id and all so here now we going to initialize those into our activity first of all view model to initialize this view model we need to call view model provider
okay got it so let's start first of all we have created the view model as well as uh, data binding of activity so we given the content of uh, our xml reference to the activity main binding class so we need to clear the set content view for this on create activity sorry on create method now so what we have done here we call the view model reference here but it, it directly directly it cannot access so we have to provide this view model to inside of an activity so how to do this so where it is it is in a xml so we going to call this automatically generated our xml named binding class got it automatically generated xml binding class so i'm going to call this and dot so it provides the references which we are created in xml variable tag here if you created a multiple variables automatically you will get the multiple references here by using the dot so i am calling and setting this view model to my view view model so what happens here here we initialize the view model and set to the xml so automatically the instance of the view model goes to xml whatever we had made a changes in this xml to get or fetch the data directly to the views whether it is edit sorry edit text or text view recycler views fragments view pages tab layouts whatever it is if you communicating directly with the view model automatically it provides an access okay i will show you don't confuse step by step i will show you and after this first of all um, for a recycler view we need to maintain a linear layout main linear layout manager so we will going to create that recycler view and uh, recycler view dot layout manager equal to linear layout manager okay guys next next we going to create a one pozo class you can call it a model class in a kotlin that will be a data class just remember it will be a, it will be called as a data class in kotlin so um recycle data got it we are going to make it as a static data for this example in further we going to call the data from the web services directly with the database okay got it okay. so i am going to make it as a data so then what happens here i am going to create a with the name 